Around about 2000 BC, and there's plenty of evidence of this, around about 2000 BC, there was a major climatic change worldwide. And this is clearly shown not just in Poland records and other scientific things, it actually shows through even in Akkadian records where they have tell us that this really bad droughts were happening. And roughly at this time, the Saraswati River, which incidentally <clears throat> at this point had already whittled down quite a lot, simply disappears. And a large number of the settlements in and around that area are simply begin to be abandoned. Incidentally, the old kingdom of Egypt also collapses at about this time. And we suddenly see a dramatic drop in the number of Harappan at artifacts that show, show up uh, in all these areas. Clearly, the trade systems in this were breaking down. Now, just as an aside, um, we have never found any uh, mid, uh, Middle Eastern uh, artifacts or even Central Asian artifacts in any Harappan site. So this is very mysterious because although the Harappans were clearly exporting stuff, including people, uh, it's entirely unclear what on earth they were importing. Anyway. With the collapse of this, these Harappan cities, we have clear signs that there was migration uh, southward uh, towards the Narmada. There was also a migration out towards the Gangetic Plains. Uh, some of these sites, many of these sites show a great amount of con cultural continuity into what is called the later Harappan, and then it fuses through later through to the Gangetic uh, uh, civilizations. But I'm not going to go into that because my interest is maritime. Now what happens, and this is where it now it gets more interesting, because you will be probably quite familiar with much of what I've just talked about. Now what happens is that suddenly central and southern India come alive. Now, till this point, for some reason, we, uh, to the evidence that we have, southern India doesn't really go through a Bronze Age. Now, Harappans and all these, these, these civilizations that I mentioned were all Bronze Age civilizations, and for some reason, there wasn't much of a Bronze Age in southern India. And you suddenly have, <clears throat> at about the time that the Harappan civilization was falling apart, the Iron Age suddenly appears on southern India. They simply skip the Bronze Age and go into the Iron Age. And this is very fascinating because the old idea was that these iron implements and other Iron Age essentially came to India along with these so-called Aryans coming thundering down from Central Asia. And it turns out that the earliest place where iron was actually found and used systematically is not even in northern India, but in and around what is now Hyderabad. In fact, just a year ago, uh, some of <coughs> the oldest iron implements anywhere in the world have been found, in fact, inside Hyderabad University campus. And um, so th that was uh, basically what is happening. But, uh, Meanwhile, a little further to the east, 